Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to talk about jump lists. Now if you've watched some of my previous videos before, you might have heard me mention that I work at Microsoft. Well, today I wanna to talk about my work and some of the things I've been doing. So today we're gonna to talk about an exciting new feature for the Office app called the Office app jump list. Uh, so let's take a look. Here I am on my desktop, and if you've never heard the term jump list before, let me give a quick crash course on what that means. So what a jump list is, is here on my taskbar, I have all these different apps pinned. Uh, this first one is Outlook, so if I right click on this, this is a jump list. And so one of the things you'll see is I have all these quick actions that I could take. In the case of Outlook, I could create a new email, a new appointment. Uh, here, if I click on the Edge browser, I could open a new window, I could open an in private window. Uh, if I click on Chrome, you know, here I get most visited websites, recently closed websites. I could also open an incognito window or just a new window. Uh, so what jump lists help you do is it helps you jump to the next task or back to a previous document or website very quickly. Now, one of the things I've been working on at work is the Office app. The Office app, I'm gonna open that up so you can see what that looks like. The Office app is an app that comes pre-installed as part of Windows 10. If you have Windows 10, you already have this app. Uh, you can open it by simply searching for Office, it'll pop up. Um, I have it pinned to my taskbar. And what we've done, so the exciting thing that we recently worked on is we brought a jump list to the Office app. So here I'm gonna click, I'm gonna right click on the Office app and here you can see that jump list. Uh, so what you'll see first is I have all my recent documents. So here I have a whole bunch of Word documents that I've worked on. Um, I also have an Excel spreadsheet that shows up on here. I could also have PowerPoint presentations that show up in here. Um, so across all my different apps, I get all my recent documents so I can very quickly get back to them. Uh, and then another thing that's really neat is I also have the ability to create a new Word document, to create a new Excel workbook, or create a new PowerPoint presentation. And now the really neat thing about this is, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on a new Word document. I have Word installed on my computer, and so what that's gonna do is that's gonna launch a new document, and I actually already have Word up with the new document, uh, but that'll launch a new document on my computer, and the document by default will be saved in the cloud. So there's my new document, and if I don't have Office, and let's say I'm not subscribed to Office, or I've never purchased Office before, what I can also do is if I go and right click on this and I click on new Word document, that'll open up the web app where I'll be able to work on a Word document. So whether you have Office or whether you don't have Office, with the jump list now, you're now uh, two clicks away from creating a new Word document or Excel or PowerPoint, uh, and you could also get back to your content. Uh, this jump list, the interesting thing too is it's also cloud-based, meaning that if you go onto a different machine using your account, um, if you go to office.com, if you go to Word Online, if you go to a different desktop with Word installed and you open a file, this jump list that you have associated with the Office app will reflect that because it's cloud-based. Uh, so that's the, that's the latest and greatest coming up with the Office app. That's something that I've been working on at work and I wanted to bring it up on my channel uh, that this is now available, uh, kind of a cool new feature as part of the Office app. And if you're running Windows 10, you already have this. It's already been rolled out to all users. Uh, so give it a shot. Let me know what you think about jump lists in the comments. Uh, let me know if there's something that you'd wanna see or something else, that, something you like or that you don't like. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see future videos like this, uh, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. All right, well, I'll see you next time. Bye.